So do you see this as being something that could go on for several seasons, and do you have other actors that you'd really love to write in? Yes No, yes. Rob and I die at the end of season one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, spoiler! Spoiler! spoiler. Ah, go! <laughs> Um, That's what I was hoping for with spoiler alert, so thank we, you. Uh, well, yeah, it's a comedy, but then we die. <laughs> it's, it's, um, well, it's, a, it's a comedy, okay. comedy slash bloodbath. Um, <laughs> no, we were already uh, got some ideas for season two. Like, the, the, the cool thing about this is we're still in it. They're still doing the con, so it's like the stories just keep coming. Yeah, it's not the, the only thing that's going to keep us from doing this show is if we stop doing the show. It's like, you know, there's it's an endless pit of ideas and characters that can come and go, and the world is fresh and new. And the fact that it is, because of what it's, you know, like core elements, the Kings of Con, or the Kings, meaning, you know, it, it works if we're in a green room, it works yeah. if we're in a boat. It, it doesn't really matter because the, the whole story is, and spine of what the series is. It's about our relationship, the comedic relationship between the fictional characters of Rob and Rich. So as long as we we're... We should do an episode on that boat. Is that the supernatural con? I see, I see the budget just went... <laughs> um, More crowdfunding. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, no, the, the... You loved it on land. <laughs> you loved it on land. You loved it you know, the, the, the stories keep happening, and uh, I think a fun thing to do while writing it is kind of challenge uh, ourselves to... To, to keep it real because some of the more interesting things are the real life or the inspired by real life things that are happening um, well one of the notes speaking of like Rob was talking about the episode in the 911 episode and one of the notes we got back and we got virtually no notes on the scripts from, from the executive producers at, at CCHQ they loved the stuff but one of them was like yeah but I don't think the cops would come to your room or like brother <laughs> They came to tell you this. They came to our room. Like, this yeah. is not us making this stuff up. Yeah. So, well then, fell you know, in So that's yeah. that, funny. The only thing they pegged as not realistic was the one actual thing that happened. Um, I've had that happen at work all the time because our area code is 919. I've had at least three misdials now, and they always have to come. Yeah, they always so have to You've got a witness from outside if they ever say that, <laughs> that to you again. Like, it that's happens. Right. Yeah. They have to come. Even if you're like, mm-hmm. and then they get there, and you're like, Oh my God, I'm so sorry. Yeah, yeah. No. Yeah, that was cool. Why? Yeah. But that's the thing is, I think we have, um, we had just an amazing time shooting the show. We got so lucky with the crew we put together, and it, I, we can't even take credit for it. We, we hired a producer, Nate Young. Nate Young brought in Tina Dinsmore, who became our boots on the ground producer, and they assembled a team. A team. Love Right? She's great, right? <laughs> producer Tina Dinsmore put together a team that was just bar none astonishing uh, Mark Evans DP everybody involved and they're super young and energetic and just did amazing work and we just had a great time I would love to reassemble that exact same group and do it again starting tomorrow I mean it was an amazing experience so you talk about a lot of the funny moments and I'm super looking forward to that but do you have any kind of sweet fan interaction moments that you put in there Do you, how do you address all that you know, we do have some sensitive moments for our characters. Yeah, we do, but but again, I think most of it takes place behind the scenes. It's really about how the sausage is made. I, you know, the, a lot, one of the parallels I draw is Thirty Rock, which is built around the making of a show, but it's really about the behind the scenes of the making of the show. Mm-hmm. And the, our show is more based in that side of the of the curtain than it is the out front. And when we are out front of the curtain, it's usually a stepping in shit and walk, walking on a white carpet. Like it's like <laughs> it's something about how we were muffing the pun at that moment, and so it's you know the fans are involved, but again, it's the the fans are the wise and more grounded spectators to the tomfoolery that we're <laughs> accidentally creating in spite of ourselves. Right, exactly. So that's yeah. sort of like real life. Very. Much. Yeah. <laughs> Very is there much. is there a specific moment? Uh, or something coming up in the first set in the first season that you just can't wait for the fans to see. There's it's several like, things. So like every, yeah. I can't even like every minute of it. Yeah. I'm like, oh, give me an, give me an episode number, like the very first one. Oh, uh, yeah. listen, I, I I'm I'm not going to play favorites because I, I, I feel I feel very solid about. But I would, like, the, the, you're going to say are you going to say 102? I'm just saying right away. Yeah, right away. Yeah. There's some great. I'll be honest. Also, 109. Hey, but also, oh well, yeah. 109. <laughs> So, hang in there. Yeah. Yeah. He's saying, yeah, there's each one's great, and you know, yeah. it's, so, you'll be able to binge watch real quick. Can we now expect at Supernatural Cons for you to be doing photos 
or as Robin Rich, the King's Con from the show, as opposed the to me- Robin the Rich. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Like layers of, which I do a photo op anyway, so it's already happening yeah. now that that's become people. Have but paint. you'll have to be your characters from the show, right, well, not right. your characters from. Fortunately, <laughs> fortunately, we play ourselves take... and wore our own clothes. Yeah. So <laughs> it won't be hard to cosplay it ourselves. Like one minute. Okay. Yeah. okay. Um, no, we. we... <laughs> Never. Right. Shush. Um, I will. Uh, uh, you know, I, I hope that the, that the audience we we have in the supernatural world, you know, takes to the show uh, in, in great in great measure. Um, we're certainly proud of it, and excited to have an audience for it. Starting with the audience that helped build it with us, uh, and then fortunately with CCHQ behind us, the audience will expand from there. So we're really excited about about being able to tell the story, tell it to the people who helped us tell it, and then move it beyond those borders into other people. Because at the end of the day. It, it's a character-driven comedy and, and should have an audience beyond just those of us who would get the inside joke. And so that you know, if you don't know already, because we haven't really said it, but at Comic-Con HQ is where it's going to be. And it'll be I think the website is comic-con Con? HQ. HQ. Dot com. Uh, this fall. And by the way, in case you're wondering, <clears throat> wait a second, hold on. It it's is a, a... No, don't say it. I'm going to say it. I'm going to memorize this. Because by God, it is a... Waiting for it. Premium. Premium digital network. That's what it is. <laughs> Thank you. Network. Seven minutes later, I got to the uh, note I made. The premium Digital Network. And we're um, going to be seeing it in the fall, you said? In the fall. Yes, okay. and it's also uh, going to be available on uh, Amazon, Amazon and, and Roku. Roku. Excellent. Oh, okay. Yes. What, what? <laughs> it's an add-on for Amazon. But I am expecting that at future Supernatural Cons, you will have the blue suit and oh, the yeah. wig. Yes. and <laughs> right, right. <laughs> just ready to go, right? right. And the robe. I did I see that I in the trailer. The <laughs> yeah. It's also a good powder blue robe. You know, yeah. I'm going to have to bring that. Although I have to have clothes on underneath because... Or would you? That could, <laughs> that's it. You wear a nude suit or... Like, Speaking I mean, of the okay. behind the scenes. You you know. Know. <laughs> Actually, no. I, now I have to live with that. No, 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 no. Sure, don't throw that idea out there. It's a terrible idea. <laughs> uh, yeah. So I know it's only going to be available in the US to start with, but Comic Con HQ said they're looking to get They are actively cause... pursuing uh, getting it out there, and I have no idea, I have no doubt that they will yeah. be able to do that. It's, it's And I know it's frustrating to fans. I totally understand because... You know, the support came from all over the world, mm-hmm. not just the United States. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, I, I think mm-hmm. it's just a it's a business it's model a snafu, yeah. and they've got to do it the proper way. Mm-hmm. But it's not to say that fans won't get to watch it. Yeah. It'll may, may, may be staggered, much like Supernatural itself. <laughs> you know, it doesn't always. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, it's like, does, like years to see it. In right. But you know what I mean? It doesn't, doesn't always air at the same <laughs> time. So we're hoping that that it, it'll eventually catch up and yeah. it'll get there, and it'll all be out there for everybody. Yeah. Right. Last question, guys. Last question. Ooh, no pressure. Who's going to be the last question? This last have you, have you got a theme song? What? Have you got a theme song? Yeah, the, yeah, yeah, I'm not going to tell you what it is. You'll, you'll hear it when it's over. Oh, no, I was going to ask. The campaign is over, and they had a lot of merchandise that apparently, you know, bases your self-esteem and all that good stuff. How can fans get a hold of that now that the campaign's over? Say it again? The King's oh, like the, the, uh, I think she's probably talking about the uh, little help. No, Kings of Con shirt. Well, Mindy Gogo shirt? Yeah. Kings of Con shirts? Yeah. Well, we, we definitely that will either one we won't remake because that was a, a perk for people who, mm-hmm. who and helped us with the show. But, but well, we're going to make tons other of kinds of gear <laughs> yeah, and yeah. other stuff with Kings of Con on it. And, and in fact, one of our deals with Creation is you'll be able to buy them at Creation Cons, which will be, yeah. which will be great. Okay. And then we'll also have them available online and that kind of thing. Okay. And I can also say that Loudon Swain is doing the theme song. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, right. we can't say that. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Fact, hum a few, hum hum a few bars. <laughs> What's that? Hum a few bars. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, a cover. it's a cover. It's our take on a cover. So. Yeah. Thank you so much, everybody. Thank you so much. Thank you.